In this video today, I'm going to go over a few tricks and tips on if you're having issues connecting to wallets, uh, Ledger Live, that type of thing, because I'm having quite a few people email in and say, hey, I can't get my wax or I can't get this, that, and the other. And so there's some things that I've just found that seem to work and I will share them with you. Um, the list will also be below this posting so that you'll be able to see that. But first and foremost, what you want to do is you want to make sure that your OS is up to date, operating system. Um, is, so if you're on a Mac, you want to make sure that you have the latest. If you're on Windows, make sure you have the latest. Uh, our Linux users, you know what to do. Um, but just make sure you have the latest uh, operating system. Then what you're going to want to do is make sure you have the latest and greatest uh, browser version. So make sure your browser is updated. You can see here this browser uh, is not up to date and I need to do that update. So you know one of the things that I can look at is okay they say that I need a, uh, an update so I'm going to click on this and get the change log. Well the change log is right here. You can see that it was uh, it was released two days ago and it shows some of the things that might have been uh, fixed in all these these different chain lo change logs uh, that you can see that are posted. The next thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your wallet, sorry, your ledger hardware wallet is up to date. Um, you can connect through uh, I timed out, so let me get in here. Okay, let me get into Ledger Manager. And it appears that my firmware is actually not up to date on this particular one. Boy, that's embarrassing. I know, oh no, you know what? Um, I believe it is 1.3. I think it's the Ledger S that's 2.0. But you want to make sure that your installed apps are all up to date. Um, if they weren't up to date, you would see a little reminder here. You can also check the settings and you can check the about and you can see that 2.32.2 is the latest version available and what that might have fixed. If you're not sure that you have the latest, you can always go to ledgerwallet.com and go to Ledger Live and download the, the latest or begin to download the latest. Well, you know what, let's show you what we do. You'd go to ledgerwallet.com uh, You would go to uh, accept all. You could go to Ledger Live, download the app, scroll down a little bit, download Ledger Live app. This is kind of a little trick, but if you click on Mac app or Windows app, it'll show you, oh, Ledger Live desktop 2.3.2. I already have that one, so I really don't need it. Go back, go to the manager. Um, so that we did see that uh, that is all up to date and that there's really nothing that I need to run as far as updaters. The next thing, if you're having issues with um, your Ledger X specifically, um, my assistant will help us here. So. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that you actually power down the ledger and not just unplug it and hold the two keys and, um, and turn it off that way. What I've found is lately with doing a lot of work with the ledger and other wallets that if I just go from one wallet to the next, sometimes things are held in memory and I get issues but if I go to um, that is found under the control panel and how you get there on the ledger uh, actually they say control center but you would just hold the two buttons down until uh, let's see 
um, hold the two buttons down until you see like battery 99%. That's when you get into the control center and then scroll over and you will see power off. And if you click both buttons, then you're powering down and you're, um, you're good to go. The other important thing to remember is that you do not want to have multiple hardware wallets connected physically to your computer each. Um, you want to unplug one, plug one back in. You don't want to mix and match and say, oh, I have a one treasure plugged into this port and, and the ledger into the other, because it's going to be trying to read that hardware wallet, and it will definitely get confused if you have multiple ones in there. Another thing that you're going to want to do is that you're not going to want to have multiple wallets open at the same time. So if you have my crypto open, you're not going to want to have um, your NEO wallet open, your the ZO3 wallet. You're not going to want to have Ledger Live open and trying to connect to multiple wallets. You'll confuse the ledger, and it's not the, necessarily that you're confusing the ledger, but what you're doing is um, potentially some type of man in the middle attack where if you're trying to and you have a connection to Ledger Live and then you try to make a connection to another wallet, well, where is that connection really going? And the hardware wallets um, you know, should stop man in the middle of attacks. If you are having problems with one wallet, try another wallet, uh, sorry, one browser, try another browser. Wallets work too, if, if you know how to do that. Um, but if you're having a problem with Brave, try Firefox. If you're having problems with Chrome, try Brave, try Firefox, try Opera. I don't know why it does it, but there are some wallets like MetaMask that I can't use in my Brave, but I can in Chrome or Firefox. It's just weird, but keep your um, browser uh, usage to many different types of browsers or versions um, than just sticking with one. The next thing you may want to do is make sure that you are, especially with hardware wallets, you're using um, the correct cables. Boy, it sounds loud out there. It sounds closer to New York City than I am. So what you want to do is make sure that you're using a uh, cable not for fast charging. You want to use something that says data. So here, let's go. Wow, fast charging, fast charging. Yeah, we don't want that. We want something that says, well, let's go back up and we'll do a search. USB-C cable data transfer. And that's a higher quality. Like here you go, USB-C to regular USB. It is uh, fast charging, but also data transfer. And you want something that says data transfer. It's a higher quality. You can go with 10 gigabits. I think there's 20 gigabits, but you can replace um, your cables. I always have tons of extra cables for this because I never want to get to a place where I run into um, that issue because I have had a few people say, oh, the cable doesn't work anymore and I can't get my cryptos out. Well, don't run into that problem. Order some more. Make sure that you're getting the right connector types. Um, if you're using some type of laptop, and you have to use a dongle, which is something that you plug in and then you plug this cable USB into that dongle, sometimes the dongles go bad. And so I don't use a dongle anymore. Um, I plug directly in. So because I have the uh, Apple 13 inch uh, M1, I just do USB-C to USB-C. The other thing that I wanna cover just before we go is that um, also make sure that you have the latest and greatest wallet that you're working with. You know, I know more and more are going to the web. They do it on that end, but something like Scatter. Scatter is notorious. If you are running Scatter version 11, you would go into the Scatter wallet and it would say you have the latest version. Well, you actually don't. The latest version for Scatter wallet is 12 and somehow they 
did not write the coding correctly, that's not going to go and check and make sure that you have the latest version. So even if a wallet says um, that you have the latest version, go to their website and verify that you um, you do have the latest version. So yeah, we'll go to desk, desktop and the Mac OS, and I know this is gonna be 12 or so. Actually, it doesn't want to download, and someone was saying that there was an issue, so there's one way to get around that if you're using Brave. Okay, turn that off. Let's see if it will download now. Nope, that's very interesting. I can't download Scatter, not sure why. Um, but the other thing to look for, and I'm gonna put it on my list because I just thought about it, if you are using a VPN, turn your VPN off so that you're making a clear connection. Uh, and if that you know helps, then, then it helps. Um, but I know some sites block uh, VPN connections. So that's about it for now. Um, why Scatter Wallet is not downloading for me? I don't know. I would check it on a, a different browser um, to see if I can get that. Uh, I don't need Scatter, but I know Scatter, uh, like I said, is notorious for not showing the full updates. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.